Willie, what sort of mood did Gloucester come into or back into the Premiership with after two games in Europe? Yeah, I think we're we're at a we're in a reasonable place. We're um, we had we had a good good win against Northampton in our last Premiership match, and then obviously the performance against Poe was a, a poor first half, and then um, into the second half we we started playing some decent rugby, and then obviously we had a really good result um, against Argen, um on Thursday night. So. Um, we're just we're just sort of searching for that more complete performances uh, performance. Sorry, um, we, we've shown it in patches, and and we're just searching, you know, for that that, that close to an 80-minute performance. It's, it is hard to get in any game of rugby. Um, you know, the game sort of swings and swings with momentum, but um, for us, we're just trying to look to really start this game well. I think that'll be a big focus for us, and and, and put Bath under pressure early in the game. Before Poe, there was the short turnaround. Now, before Bath, you've got the long turnaround. Does that Take away more excuses. Yeah, look, we we try not to have an environment where, where we make excuses, but um, certainly when you've got a long turnaround like this, we've had a good few days off to recover, and and then we've got a four weeks preparation where we can really do our homework and and we can go and train hard each day and and give ourselves the best chance to perform. So um, certainly it's all there for us um, this week. A lot's been made of Gloucester's away form so far, but go and win at the wreck and suddenly you know that's all put to rights isn't it yeah well it's a step in the right direction isn't it um i don't know that it, you, you solve it with one win but um if i knew the, the exact answer as to why we haven't had those performances away from home you know we, we might not have found ourselves in this position in the first place but um you know the, the big message that i've given to the group this week is just around genuinely preparing um each man doing doing what he needs to do to give himself the best chance to, to put in that, that really top quality performance in the weekend and then just going with a, a real attacking mindset right from the word go. Don't sit and wait just because we're playing away from home, just because we don't have the shed, you know, um, and, and all our supporters screaming as as they do when we play at King's Home, that's no excuse. We've got to go down and, and have those those really good starts and get ourselves into the into the game right from the start. You talk about the message this week. Sounds like you're not just captain for the 80 minutes on a Saturday or a Sunday, whenever you play, but also you know, during the week. Is it almost a sort of a heavier burden? Do you, do you think more about the game as captain than you, you did just as scrum half? No, well, I think over the last couple of years I've, I've had that experience. Obviously, shared the role a bit with Greg last year, and um, you know, in this group we've got a number of leaders that, that take on different responsibilities within our game. So we've the guys that look after the line out and the defence leaders and then you know my job as captain is I guess just to, to try and bring that all together but I, I certainly don't see it as a burden I see it as um, as, a, as a real positive and it, and it gets me right in the thick of the in the thick of the game if, if I could be any more as, as a scrum half anyway so um, yeah I, I really enjoy it. Bath obviously above Gloucester in the table but there's been the odd chink in their game Newcastle showed that you know they're not unbeatable. How much can that sort of be a template to sort of get in their faces, I suppose, and, and from the first whistle? Yeah, well, like you say, they're, they're a good side and they've, they've put in some, some good results, particularly away from home um, for them this, this season so far. Um, I think Newcastle showed early on in that game, in that first half, they, they really took the game to them. They were direct, they ran hard, made Bath make tackles and and if you do that, you give yourself the chance to get a few offloads away and break break their defensive line. So um, certainly that that's something that we've looked at. Um, equally, we've seen the strengths in their game and, and, and the things that we're going to have to get right. And uh, you know they've got some some pretty awesome strike runners, particularly in their back three. Um, Fallot out number eight is, is a very good counter attacker as well. So that's an area of the game that that we're going to have to to stay on top of.